Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tina and I'm a DIYer. We are making some progress in the office right now and last week I made a bookshelf from scratch and it honestly is one of my favorite pieces ever. I am currently on the hunt for some unique pieces. So for today's video, we are actually going to take some old items and give them a new life. I am freaking out because I just got the Facebook marketplace find of a lifetime. I scroll on my marketplace feed pretty often and sometimes I get some really amazing listings and this listing for a library card file cabinet showed up for only a hundred dollars so I hopped on it right away hoping that no one else had messaged her. I told them I would pick it up as soon as possible and she seemed pretty responsive to me so I was pretty sure I was going to get the item but then she told me she was getting so many messages for this piece and if I was able to match the highest offer then she would give it to me because I was the first person. I honestly thought that people were gonna offer a lot more for it but she asked if I could match the 150 and I I said yes of course I could because these pieces go for thousands of dollars. I honestly could not believe my luck with this piece and she was only 10 minutes away so the next day we went and got it. Okay, we got the cabinet. It's actually bigger than I thought it would be. It also comes apart so now it fits perfectly in the car but look at it they were saying that they didn't even know they had this because it was actually their mother's just hanging around yeah. for like years their mom had it in their floral shop mm -hmm. and i told them i would take good care of it so i'm really excited for this piece i know we're about to give it a second life so ah! so happy it smells good <laughs> <laughs> came apart and the seller actually didn't either until they were moving it. I'm not sure if they're actually supposed to be screws or not pulling this together but he said it just came apart without anything so we should be able to piece these back together and I'm not sure if I can kind of mix and match the pieces but I'm gonna put it together the way that they had it. I can't believe this is mine! It's a big girl. Big Bertha. Okay. Wow. It's like Harry Potter. <laughs> Getting the wands. This thing smells. Why? The smells actually kind of nostalgic because it's like, you know that basement you had as a kid? And you go down yeah, there. It's like stuff in it. Oh look, free battery. Ta-da! Here she is. It actually is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I honestly thought it was only gonna be like this high, but this is honestly such an amazing find. I had no idea that it had these little pull-out tabletops. I guess people would like work while they're finding the different files and stuff like that, but I honestly am so, so happy that I found this. To me, this is like one of my dream thrift finds. For years, I've been wanting a cabinet like this, and this is honestly perfect, even though it has a lot of wear and tear on it. I think it just adds a lot of character, but of course, I want to fix it up a little bit just because it could look a little bit better. As you can tell, it is pretty beat up, and some of the hardware on top doesn't match the other hardware. Wear. I'm not sure why that is. Some of the knobs are even broken, which I honestly don't mind too much. But I definitely want to fix her up and make her look a little bit nicer. And I honestly just can't wait to get this into the office, fill it up with all of my stuff and style it and just make it so beautiful. First things first, let's clean her up. Goodbye thrift store smell. I had to do some snooping on the internet to see how much these cabinets go for online and you guys I found a two drawer one for a hundred dollars which is literally how much this one was listed for online so that is absolutely crazy to me and if you find one in good condition that is a similar size to the one that I have it is over three thousand dollars so yeah it is very worth it to continually browse on marketplace to see if one pops up because you honestly never know I feel so lucky that I found this one 
one and I've officially crossed it off of my dream thrift wish list. Guys, I am so lucky today because I literally just bought a little squeegee stand for our shower. It came with this little screwdriver and it works perfectly for these knobs. It was meant to be because otherwise I would not have a screwdriver that would be small enough for all of these. Let me know if this is on your list too, or if you guys have any other items that you've been on the lookout for, I would definitely love to know. And if you have any info or history on these pieces, I would love to hear about it. I believe this is from the 50s or the 60s, and this is the Brodart brand. So if you have any info, let me know. Okay, I think I figured out how to take the top off. Let's try this. Yes, oh my God, yay. I'm so glad that came off because now I can actually work on this on a table and I don't have to move the whole entire thing. Plus, it also means I can configure this however I want and I can put the top on any one of these compartments. So this is pretty awesome that it's so interchangeable. So if you look right here, this basically is what keeps them in place. Each layer has it. So once you stack them on top of each other, you can basically lock it into place by switching the latch over. And that way this won't be coming off. I'm guessing the previous owner didn't know how to do that because he basically said that they just stacked on top of each other and nothing was locked into place. But it turns out it was these little latches all along. Okay, so I just got back from the store. I actually brought one of the drawers with me to make sure that I would get the right color match. And I still don't know which one it is because to me, this has a little bit of a red undertone. So I got mahogany, but I'm hoping that this walnut color will match it better because I don't really want a lot of that red coming through. So I bought a bunch of different items that we could try out today. The first thing I want to try is restore finish. So I was looking on Pinterest and someone had a great blog about how they transformed one of their file cabinets. And basically what this claims is that it will help restore any small minor damage to your wood without having to sand or do any heavy lifting. And I want to try this first because I really don't want to have to spend a lot of time sanding everything down, especially since there are so many parts of this cabinet it would just take literally a lifetime and personally i just love all the imperfections on it because i think it gives it a lot of character but what i do want to fix is at least some of the scuffing that is happening on this top part as well as on the fronts of the drawers so i want to try this out first and with this you want to work in small sections basically putting the product on and then wiping it right off okay i'm gonna try it in this little corner basically like a stain but I feel like this top part is a big layer of veneer that's just like cracking off. I think it does work though. All right, so after using this product, this cabinet definitely has a lot more damage than it could cover. So I would recommend using this for furniture with just minor blemishes. But again, I didn't want this to be perfect. I just wanted to be able to blend in some of the chipping so it wasn't as noticeable. And to be honest, I just did not want to take the time to sand everything down and strip it and make it look new again. I I've learned that restoring furniture can sometimes be physically taxing and also be very wasteful, especially when you're using stripping products, sandpaper, stain, and all of that. I really fell in love with this cabinet as it was, so I'm embracing this, but who knows, maybe in the future I will completely want to redo it. You can always change your mind about a project and that's what makes DIYing so much fun. This is already making such a huge difference. Can you see the bottom ones compared to these? These just look so much better. finally the day to clear out this room. It's honestly been stressing me out because this room has been like this for several months now. I think I mentioned this earlier, but my parents are staying with us in a month in this exact room. So I just need to clear it out so that we can make room for the new pieces. And my main priority is to get all of my supplies in one area so that I can put it into the new cabinet. This is gonna take me forever. To make this go by a little bit faster, I'm going to listen to an audiobook on 
Audible who is so kindly sponsoring today's video. It's been a year since I started Akatar and I'm finally on the final one. I'm listening to A Court of Silver Flames. This is the last one before she comes out with her next one, so I'm going to be finally caught up after I finish this. And I always choose to listen to a dramatized version because there is a full cast and you just feel so immersed into the story. It literally feels like a movie in your head and especially with the Akatar series, the author is just so descriptive, especially when you're listening to it, the scenery and the architecture and the world building, it just comes to life so vividly. I started this the other day and I still have nine hours left, so I know it's gonna go by so fast. I'm gonna get my headphones on and start cleaning. For me personally, decluttering a space helps me declutter my mind and just make more room for creativity, which is something I definitely need for my little office studio area. Seasonal cleanouts like this has honestly become a part of my wellness routine. And as you guys know, I've been making self-care a priority this year. So doing a clean out or skincare or a long bath plus an audiobook is honestly just the best. Especially before going to bed, instead of scrolling on my phone, I like to listen to Audible and it's honestly just made a world of a difference in my sleep so I cannot recommend recommended enough. And aside from audiobooks, Audible has an incredible selection of podcasts and originals across every genre, from interior design to self-help to business and so much more. Audible has honestly become such a great way to enrich my well-being routine. So wherever you are on your well-being journey, Audible has your back. Okay, the room is clear and I feel so much better for it. That took me about an hour, but I went by it so much faster because of my audiobook. And if you guys want to check out Audible, make sure to use my link below low to get a free trial or you can text my code tinale30 to 500, 500 and that will also get you the free trial. Thank you again Audible for sponsoring this video and now we can move on to the next project now that I have some room for it. So as I mentioned before some of these drawers have these little knobs in the front and it basically has a rod which used to connect to the cards so you would be able to basically pull it out if I can do it. Okay, I don't know why I can't now. Please hold. Okay, some of them come out easier than others, but like this one, you could just pull it out and it just looks like this. And I do really like the look of these knobs. The only issue is if I plan to store stuff in here, it's basically going to get in the way. About 10 drawers don't have the little knobs on them, so they are perfectly fine for putting stuff inside. And the cool thing is on the back here, there is a plate that you can adjust depending on how big or small that you need it for all of the paper. And for me, this is perfect because then whatever I'm putting in here, I can just adjust this little drawer to whatever size I need and it's basically like a built-in divider. I wanna keep these as clean as possible and also not damage the inside any more than they already are. So I'm gonna add a little shelf liner. This is like a nice plasticky film so it's going to be hard enough so that it won't really sink into this little divot in the middle. This is making me so happy. so much better. I like that there's still a little bit of character on it, but I feel like it just looks so much more vibrant and alive. I don't know if that makes sense, but it was very dusty before, so this is a huge improvement. And on the back of this, it actually says to finish it up with a finish like the Feed and Wax, which is by the same brand. So I went out and I picked it up. This is a wood polish and a conditioner, and all I have to do is just wipe it on top. And it claims to help prevent drying out of the wood and deterioration of the finish. So I definitely want to try and preserve this even longer. So let's put it on and see what it looks like. Ooh, it smells orangey. I don't know if it's supposed to be a solid or like a melty wax, but it's kind of hardened or something in the air. Oh, okay. Let's start back here. So you're supposed to wipe it on, leave it for 20 minutes, and then wipe off the excess. 
Okay guys, I've been on Facebook Marketplace all morning and I'm trying to find the perfect piece to dupe this piece that has been on my Pinterest board for a very long time for this room. I really love how bold it is and you guys know that I love a good stripe pattern and this almost looks like checkerboard as well. This is definitely gonna make a statement and the original is from a website called Worn which actually has some beautiful pieces. There's a lot of unique decor on there and it's definitely giving me ideas to DIY and this chair in particular is is I think almost $600 USD if you convert the Australian to US. I wanna take the general idea and DIY our own version because just from looking at it, I know that I can recreate this for way less than $600. So I've been scrolling around for wood dining chairs and actually found a couple that are the Ikea Ivor chairs. Those are actually going to be perfect for it. So I messaged a seller that's selling two of them for $40 and then another seller who's selling them each for $10. So I'm keeping my finger Fingers crossed that the $10 seller is going to get back to me and we can go get them ASAP. Definitely need some sanding. These are amazing though. Yeah, these are nice. And I don't have to assemble them. Look. Hmm. My favorite. Ikea. Over the That's So Fetch posters. <laughs> <laughs> Who else saw Mean Girls? Oh my god, it is freezing today. We have officially become weaklings because even though it is 60 degrees outside, we actually have our heat on. Whereas back at home in Chicago, it's like 18 degrees and they are actually freezing. So I feel very spoiled right now. Anyways, so we have our beautiful chairs behind us. I cannot believe I only paid $10 for each one when Ikea sells it for $40 right now. They aren't in too bad of condition, but it definitely needs a good cleaning. So I'm gonna do that first and then basically sand everything down. Also, I'm only gonna do one of these chairs for this project, but I think I'm gonna save the other chair for inside the garage because I currently don't have a real one. So we'll work on one now and I think we could save the other one for a future project. So dirty. Who's putting butt on this? Okay, wow. What a difference cleaning this makes because it looks so much lighter. And what I'm gonna do next is actually fill up some of these holes. So if you look on the side, here, there's some hardware that is sticking through from the screws, so I kind of want to disguise that a little bit better. So I'm going to add some wood filler to these parts, and I'm also just going to sand the whole thing around so that it's nice and smooth. I honestly am surprised that Ikea sells chairs like this because it feels like you're supposed to DIY them because of how plain and basic and kind of raw the wood is. So if you guys can find these secondhand, I feel like this is such a great base to DIY with. Just a reminder of where we started versus where we are at. Not only does this look almost brand new again, it's also super, super soft compared to this, which is pretty rough. if you guys think I should stand it darker or lighter and I honestly don't know how I'm leaning especially after putting the wood conditioner on the wood just looks a lot more like orangey so it kind of skews my decision I honestly was thinking about doing it darker and then once we put on the paint it'll actually tie it together too or maybe I just do something in the middle let me figure this out you guys are feeling the dark side so that is what we're gonna go with and by darker, I mean doing something that's a little bit darker than what I usually do, which is kind of like a mid-tone brown. So we'll do it a little bit darker than usual. <laughs> that is very dark. It's okay, it'll wipe away. Do I like it? Oh yeah, that's a nice color. I 
ended up doing one and a half inch stripes all around and I found that my speed square really came in handy for this. So if you don't already have one in your toolbox, I definitely would recommend. And doing this project totally reminds me of the couch sleeve that I made. And so many of you guys love that project. A few of you even recreated it and it's one of my favorite projects. And I just love the idea of creating a little companion piece to it. To paint everything in, I'm actually using a sample paint I already had and it's this beautiful, rich, dark brown color. I think it's gonna pair really well with the wood stain and I'm also going in with a foam brush to try and minimize brush strokes. hours and this is gonna be literally the most satisfying thing that I've ever peeled off and I always recommend to peel off your tape like a couple hours afterwards because I always find that if you wait a whole day when it's completely dry it starts to peel off more of the actual paint than you would like so I usually just wait until it's like dry to the touch so that when we peel it's nice and clean oh yeah the brown looks so good against this wood. Took me a long time to do, but honestly, so worth it. Beep, 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 beep. Ooh. Oh okay. my god. <laughs> the big girl. Oh my god. You know what's funny? We're gonna have to move this later because <laughs> we're painting this wall. Oh! Now you really gave us a second life. Look at this. You can come up here and have dinner. <laughs> I have dinner right here. Which wand do you want? <laughs> Welcome to Olivander's. just fits right at home. I have so much storage and there's actually room to grow which I've never had before so I am just so happy with this find. I have loved that we created some DIYs and brought something old and vintage into this room and I hope it gave you some ideas on how to bring life into some old pieces. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and also what you would have done with the cabinet or with the chair if you guys had these to DIY. I love hearing all of your ideas and also don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already. Next week we are actually going to tackle the whole makeover and bring all these pieces to life so don't miss out on that also follow me over on instagram if you haven't already i just hit a huge milestone on there and i am hoping to reach 100k soon that is honestly crazy to think about so if you guys want to see what i'm up to every day and see behind the scenes make sure to follow me over on there that is it for me today guys thank you so much for watching stay inspired and i will see you in the next one bye